Hey guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and uh, this time I'm really excited to introduce to you guys the AOSP A-ROM version 6.0.3 for the Xperia Z3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Xperia Z3 hasn't received a lot of love from the Android community mainly because, well, there aren't many developers making ROM for it. Um, well, I personally have uh, experienced that because Z3 doesn't really have a lot of ROMs. Basically, Cyanogen mod ROMs are not really available. There is a one, there is one which is uh, a little bit buggy. So there are a few ROMs, but still nothing special. Uh, now that all changes with this ROM. This is the Android open source Paranoid. So yeah, that is uh, AOSP A ROM for the Z3. A lot of, I mean, I've been waiting for a Marshmallow based, AOSP based ROM on the Z3 for a long time. There are ROMs which was based on Lollipop and other situ other ROMs, um, Lollipop and older versions, which is on the AOSP background. But for some strange reason, even, even when uh, Sony released their own Marshmallow package, there weren't many uh, Marshmallow based ROMs for the Z3. I'm not entirely sure why that is. It's still a, it's still a problem right now. So yeah, let's get started. Now, first of all, in the settings menu, you will see that this is the Xperia Z3 and you can see Xperia Z3 AOSP A is the one which is shown here. Android version A 6.0.1, which is the latest version. It does have the August patches, which is amazing to see. Uh, kernel is paranoid, so you do have that. SLNX status is enforcing, just so you guys know. Now, this ROM is for the 6603 international variant of the Z3. But this one which I have right now is the 6653 which is uh, a specific version of the Z3. I've been able to get that working uh, pretty much flawlessly on here. I haven't tried out the specific uh, this version bands for this phone because they are not available where I live right now. So I couldn't be able to test that. If someone of you is uh, willing to test that, please do let me know in the comment section below so I can just rest assured that it's working. So yeah. Now let's get to the settings now. Being a basic AOSP based ROM, you are not going to get a lot of settings here, but still most of the stuff are pretty much amazing. So let's see, uh, double press uh, power button for camera. That is a, something which is available. Double tap to wake is available. Font size is customizable. I have selected uh, small because I personally use that. Uh, you do have all of this like uh, when device is rotated, all that is available. Themes, now this does have the Cyanogen mod themes and you will you are welcome to use any Cyanogen mod theme and I really, really love that. Now this is a Cyanogen mod theme engine so you do have all of these customizations available so that is really amazing to see. Sound and notification options you do have options to control all of these uh, also vibrate for calls you do have phone ringtones other options you do have all of you can disable any of these sounds that's pretty nice to see uh, pulse notification light you do have notification light pulsing but there isn't notification light uh, customization available in this ROM which is well this is an AOSP based ROM you don't have that something which I noticed is that the SD card right now I have a SanDisk SD card which is 64 gigs uh, it shows up as unsupported whenever I reboot the system it shows up as unsupported and it is asking me to Reformat the device or reformat the card which I'm, I've refused to of course uh, But still that is something there. It is it is getting recognized in the time in uh, recovery So yeah, just so you guys know that is a case in this ROM to be really honest the battery life is nothing to write home about uh, as you can see, there is a lot of wake lock issues. I'm not entirely sure if you can, but as you can see, there is a lot of wake lock issues, but I mean, it's a start. I really like that there is a AOSP based ROM for the Z3 right now. And uh, there will be challenges, namely battery life, camera, 
yeah camera which i'll be getting will which i'll be getting into later uh the battery life is not the best other options are pretty much same uh, there is the three gigs of ram and only 700 ram uh, megs are being used i mean coming from a stock based sony rom i really really understand how much this this phone is capable of the stock android uh sony xperia theme or the xperia rom does hold it back a lot because of the bloatware and because of the features which that offers so yeah that's a quite that's quite a changing um well opinion changing decision so yeah uh other stuff basically the same things that uh, you do have developer option where you have advanced reboot stay awake uh, and all that usb debugging and all that can be enabled from here it does have the options of uh, changing the window scale animation to 0.5 it doesn't have the scales which i would have liked now something which i want to talk about is that this rom does not have a recovery so when i flashed this the first time i the stock rec the team in recovery which i had was overwritten I didn't have a recovery on here to change back to my previous ROM but I was able to flash that through the normal uh, ADB and fastboot method of flashing so it shouldn't be a problem just so you guys know it doesn't have a recovery. I have been using this for some time now like two or three days and it is really really right. Uh, I didn't have any issues with force closing or anything like that I was able to use most of the applications without any hitch. Uh, let me show you guys the antidote benchmark score which is pretty amazing. So this is the score which I received with added to benchmark score which is higher than anything which I received on this device. So as you can see the uh, well the score top benches are there. The score the score is 63,000. Now the one plus three one plus one is uh, 53,800 which is 54,000. This scores more than that and the actual Z3 is somewhere closer to 40,000 which is not anywhere close to the score which I'm raising being now. So that should should be a testament on how much the Xperia UI is taking up the performance. These are the applications which with it comes. I have installed and to the benchmark score ES File Explorer. This doesn't come with the File Explorer. Super Su, I had to flash manually. This doesn't come with Super Su. And Titanium Backup is something which I had to do myself. Rest everything you see here are AOSP based applications. It does have a calendar, basic one, calculator is there, uh, camera uh, and all that is available and it is quite usable. Now let me just show you guys the camera performance and yeah don't keep your hopes up. The camera is really not anything special so you can see it is really really bad. The camera performance is not entirely good. Um, here are a few shots which I took. This is the shot which I just took and it's just processed. So this is the camera quality which you can expect out of this ROM. So now this one, this image was taken indoors yes but there was one light available and still the picture was really really dark and it flashed uh, it used the flash and uh, yeah the picture wasn't really good now this is an outdoor shot and uh, it, it is okay okay this this is pretty usable but you can see a lot of areas there is a bit of overexposure and all that so it's not really i mean it's usable but nothing special so yeah so as I just said, the camera performance is nothing to write home about, I mean even nothing to use. Uh, so that is though expected. Every ROM which I've used, uh, the S3, the Z3, the OnePlus 3 and uh, all the other ROMs which I've used with the custom ROM, well doesn't have a better camera experience than the stock one. So that was kind of expected So just so you guys know. Let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty rad. So there you have it, that is the boot animation for AOSPA and it, it is amazing, it's really smooth, it's really minimal and it turns into AOSPA, so yeah. So I guess that much is it about this ROM now, um, and well this is the error which I was showing, this says it's an unsupported SanDisk SD card, but I can actually use this as internal or uh, external disk, but I have to erase and format it, so not going to do that. Now the ROM is... A starting point and that's what I want to highlight on this Z3 didn't have a marshmallow AOSP based ROM for a long time even though the sources were already out this makes marks a beginning for it and I really really appreciate that I really like it I hope this goes forward into a much more usable ROM with a better camera performance at least because well, the camera is really not usable in this so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time Bye.